Hi everyone. <clears throat> I don't quite know where that came from. I've just finished my tea. So hi guys, how are you? Good, I hope. I am um, just recording my little chat of Rooney and um, been recording some winners videos that um, will pop up over the next few days. So I've got this on quite a bit in my videos. It's not, it's either that or go quick changing, which is just silly, isn't it? So uh, just as long as you all know, I'm not wearing the same thing day in and day out and day in and day out. It's, um, you know, well, if I was, just be grateful it's not smelly vision. That's all I can say. So OJ Simpson has snuffed it then. Well, I was absolutely, um, well, not enthralled at the time. That's the wrong word, isn't it? Um, you know, it's, what's the word I'm looking for when it's, it's um, compulsive viewing. I wasn't really into the trial at the time of the trial because I was too busy having a good time, you know, going out being being me um with my mates and all that stuff and the trial just was like wow you know yeah okay it was everywhere always on um couldn't escape it but I didn't really follow it it was the drama you know that was made afterwards that was compelling viewing the drama of the trial wow yeah the mini series I mean and when you think about the whole thing it's just incredible isn't it that it happened there are a few periods in history that you can't believe happened and um things like that are one of them you know assassination of president kennedy and then martin luther king and so many uh, robert kennedy is another you know they're just like how can they happen how can how can these things happen and so you could, you would just put money on OJ getting convicted, wouldn't you? You just put money on it. And to be, you know, if to actually turn it into a media circus and turn it into race and stuff like that, such a travesty, such a travesty. But you know, and and since then we've had Oscar Pistorius trial on TV, um, who did not get off. Well, he did and he didn't. It's a bit, bit the same, really, isn't it? Off one minute, not the next. But yeah, do you know, it, it was such a such a crazy, crazy thing. But um, you know what I feel really bad about? Don't get me <coughs> choking on air again. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean this in a flippant way. <coughs> but because of his association with police squad and the naked gun those movies don't get the views they don't get they don't get the airtime and those that tv show doesn't get the reruns anymore and i find that really sad because i absolutely loved police squad but because he was nordberg and he you know there's such a funny thing they kept doing to nordberg all the time i think that because of him and what he did it kind of killed that it killed that show in its tracks and those movies they're funny but you know they can't be seen to uh, promote him can they and it's it's quite a sad thing that that happened I mean obviously it's not the saddest thing but um it is a by byproduct of it I loved police school I used to get home from school and be, oh, yeah it's on you know Leslie Nielsen so funny I used to love that and that other guy the one that looked like um, oh, I can't remember what his name was, but he was the blonde, curly-haired guy. So, so funny. I am really hot. It is so warm out there. Uh, I've just been out into the Yarna van as well. I had to do some printing for printers out there. And I also had to pack an order and do a few bits, take my, my new yarn out there as well. I had to take it all out there. So it's now nestled in the Yarna van, all safe and secure. So yeah, lots to do, and it was like an oven um, outside. In the actual yarn van itself, it's quite, um, what's the word? M uh, cool, I suppose you could say. Because it's it's kind of white, it reflects the sun and that anyway, but it's a, 
a skin within a skin anyway so it's not even if the sun was to beat down on it it's not even beating down on it you know so it actually stays fairly cool out there which is good but um yeah so the cat is just basking in the sunshine i'm gonna sneeze i feel like i'm gonna sneeze maybe not it's just so tickly um i think it's the tree pollen not that i'm really uh i get hay fever or anything like that but i think when it's a massive kind of change in the weather it plays havoc i've been wheezing <clears throat> does play havoc with me just a little bit before i forget let's do this because um I, d I have been known to i have been known let me little neck light where are we up to so this is my little jokey book and you know you're old when it's the last section you know you're old when um you're oh yeah the story's over and over and over again all you want for your birthday is not to be reminded of your age <laughs> i forget my age anyway I don't know about you, but I, I do. Unless, because I was born in something T2. Unless it's something T2. I don't know, I'll do. You know, unless I actually sit and work it out, which I'm not about to do. Because yeah, why would I need to know? You know, just don't. I'm 69 years young. I'm not, I'm not, by the way. I'm really not. <laughs> just saying, it was just a, it was just a joke, all right? So this was yesterday's. Oh, we got the weekend one now, and it looks like we've got a bit of um, light saber action going on with Mando. That must be the dark saber when he had it, because I don't think he has a light saber other than the dark saber when he finally got his mitts on that. Anyway, anyone who's watched it will know what I mean. I'm still putting the double Grogu at the top though. That's such a cutie pie. Yeah, um, there was something else I was going to tell you that I kind of see on the news, but I can't really remember now. It was actually more like on the TV this morning. Of course, they were all going on about OJ all the time. It probably overshadowed everything else. But uh, he was quite young, really. But um, yeah, I don't even... I know There was this scandal with, involving him with a, a raid on a... Was it a bank job in Las Vegas or something? I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. But um, weird times in history, though. And it is, it is incredible how these things, you know, every now and then something will come along and you just think, how on earth can something like that happen? Yep. Anyway. What else have I got to tell you? Oh, I did my uploaded all my yarn. Yeah, that's cool. It's all done. I've um, I'm gonna order some more. Now they do have other other Lion Brand yarn. They have pound. Is it Pound of Love? And a few others. I don't know if I've got it. If I can maybe get it up. Sounds charming. Of course, I didn't mean. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can. Um, I feel like I can, I will try. Yep, hang on. Right, now I've got to log in. It's one of those mad menus pops up and it really is annoying. I don't want to enter the password. Look, it's saved. Wrong finger. <laughs> <laughs> just because I was sitting that way around <laughs> wrong finger <laughs> I am a silly sausage I am I am a silly sausage right um yarn there we go okay so let me tell you and you can maybe help me they've got heartland yarn some of it's mostly in stock um, they've got all kinds of tweed. What the heck does that say? Just a minute. Fisherman's wool sounds scratchy. Does, doesn't it? Sounds scratchy. They've got skein tones, basic 
stitch skein tones basic stitch again why are they all mixed up landscapes lion brand diy glow uh pound of love pound of love pound of love mandala uh woolies um that's a mandala woolies is a bit 24 7 cotton i think that oh hang on there's another page there be another page there be 24 7 cotton is on that page so that's at the moment that's all of the ones they have so i've never squished them i've i've never really um had the opportunity and obviously i don't want to stock ones that are going to be scratchy fisherman's yarn sounds mega scratchy not that I've snuggled many fishmen, obviously. Well, Gary has been known to fish and I snuggled him, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it does sort of sound scratchy. It might not be, but it does seem it. Anyway, enough of fishermen. Um, <laughs> apart from this, I must tell you, my mum used to suck these sweets and they were awful and if you've ever had those victory v's they're hot um and not particularly sweet but they were they were kind of designed to cut through qatar and colds and that sort of like remember the old days of the smog and fog and everybody's chest and that's what they were designed for victory v's well, they brought out something called fisherman's friends and um, they were equally as vile, but at the same time, strangely addictive. And uh, my mother used to chomp her way through little, they used to come little packs, little tiny kind of paper packs. She'd chomp her way through tons of them. And every now and then she'd say, do you want a fisherman's friend? And I go, go on then and I'd eat one. Especially if you had a cold, they would like bust your nose, you know, into the next week. <clears throat> so anytime anyone had a sniffle or a cough or anything, it was my saying that I always go, oh, you know what you need? You need to suck a fisherman's friend. And I couldn't, couldn't help myself. If anyone was ever croaky, I'd say, you know, you, could, you should suck a fisherman's friend. <clears throat> in tongue-in-cheek way. But yeah, they, uh, they still make them and they make all different flavours now. Not that I've tried them. Yeah, but my mother, she was a kind of addicted to these things. I could never do a Victory V. Victory Vs were way, way too hot for me. Blow my head off. Anyway, enough of that. It just, a little memory popped into my head, you know, about fishermen. Isn't it amazing how, like, yarn called fisherman's yarn can drag up a memory? Anyway. I, this is a bit bright, isn't it? Let's go on to darker page. That's it. Uh, so th I never used to be able to have that on. It would make all kinds of terrible, like, uh, what's the word? Brightness on my face and everything else. But this new equipment, it doesn't do it. It just, <laughs> it just keeps me still doing that thing, though, where it looks like it's uploading something strange but yeah it's um at least i can have the computer on and do stuff where it doesn't sort of give me well i get a little bit from this but not much it's too not too bad so we're out tomorrow we are taking um gary's uh granddaughters somewhere um the other day i went out with harley so gary wants to go out with the girls um as well and so we're going to do that tomorrow. But I will be obviously uploading stuff ready. So I will still be around. And then when we get back, Gary and myself, I will obviously do Sundays. So it will be seamless as if it never happened. Isn't that amazing? It's one of the perks of me doing my chats of a, a late afternoon. It's it's just so, so good for me because, you know, nothing impacts really unless i was out <laughs> i was out too long but you know 
but it happened once i just did a late morning chat the next day so we even see it's not even like um that much of a problem anyway um i haven't really got much else to tell you other than um check out my unboxing i did it as a little yarn quest sort of thing with a short um because it was a big unboxing and uh boy was the box huge i mean it was so heavy so uh yeah I'll, but i will get some more i'll get some more mandalas mandalas whatever you want to call them and i uh, if you if you guys tell me if any of those yarns are nice i might venture uh into ordering them at some point not straight away um out of stock of ogos now got no ogos left whatsoever i might um find see if i don't think there's many left um unfortunately i did want some of those <laughs> myself and i kind of didn't think about ordering more never mind i'm not sure if i can still get them i think i can but it might be limited colors so i will have a little looky and see what's what thank you for watching and um yeah and everything that you do for me so um i've got a little recipe popped up i think I th i'm not sure if it should have popped up earlier i might not have put the um final time in over on rocksteady but there's a couple of recipes that used to be on this channel that i'm popping over there and putting them on so like getting them off of here so um thanks for everyone who's doing the watch hours over on rocksteady it, that channel really 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 needs it it needed loads to get me monetized but now that it is i don't earn any money because i don't get any views on there so it's kind of like why did i bust the gut getting it on there honestly i really do need to nurture that channel a bit more than i do but thanks you guys i will see you on the next one take care bye for now and uh hopefully i've also put up some of those little videos i took when we went out to the zoo bye for now guys